Now we're going to go over four do's and don'ts of the kettlebell swing. This will illustrate some of the most common mistakes made while doing this exercise. Mistake number one, separating the movement, bending and then lifting the weight with the arms rather than using momentum and that hip drive that we've been talking about. Watch Nick do the first don't. So he's bending, he's slowing down that weight and he's lifting it with his arms and his shoulders. Now take a look at how it's properly done. Momentum, hip drive, full body, arms and shoulders are just guiding the movement. Mistake number two, bending at the knee rather than at the waist. That'll make the exercise look more like a squat. Take a look at this. So way too much knee bend. And what's happening is that he's not allowing for maximal hip drive, right? He can't get enough power through the hip this way. Now take a look when he does it properly. Bending from the waist, the knee's bending less. Look at the difference in power, because he can fully extend that hip, squeeze his bum, and he's got ample power enough to do any big momentum-based movement. Mistake number three, arching the back rather than driving at the hip. Arching the back puts a lot of pressure through the discs in the lower back. Thrusting from the hip, you're using your big, strong gluteal muscles. There's a, a big difference. One is a lot safer and you're gonna get a lot more power the proper way. Here we go. The improper way of doing it. Arching the back, right? Look at that big arch in the back. He's leaning back, putting a lot of pressure through the, the lower back. Now watch him do it properly. Hips are fully extended. He's not leaning back as much, but those hips are coming all the way forward. The power is coming from the right place now. Mistake number four, not maximally driving that hip forward. Here's the don't, not extending the hip enough. Right, he seems to be coming up all the way, but he is missing out on tons of hip power here. Take a look now when he's driving the hip forward all the way. Look how those hips are passing the body line coming forward. That's it, a little more, boom, that's it. Now he's getting full maximal power. This will allow Nick, when he's doing other kettlebell exercises, which need more power to raise that weight higher than shoulder, to really get enough drive. So now we know the proper technique of the kettlebell swing, and we know what not to do. So go and practice, tell your friends, get your KB swing on, and remember, the more reps, the better.